Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm uh, Time is here, sitting with Abe Norsey, our uh, top 16 finisher, along with myself. Uh, he piloted a Monofire Wall 7, am I correct? Uh, yeah, Monofire Wall 7. Yeah, uh, he's representing Gamers Command uh, from here in Tampa, local in Tampa. Um, Abe, tell us about the day and how was the deck, man? Um, so honestly, it's kind of a blur. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, I made the deck like maybe two days ago. Um, I see that topped in Kansas, and then I did a smaller one in uh, Barcelona, and uh, I really like the list. Uh, I, I scrambled to get the cards together, uh, uh, but it, it went great. I, uh, I I don't think I piloted perfectly, but uh, the matchups were really good, and I think that, that got me there. Cool. Well, uh, you said matchups were really good. Which ones are you really favorable into uh, with the meta right now? Um, so I don't think I'm favorite against Knights, but I beat all the Knights that I played, uh, and... Uh, against other wall decks, I usually it's like either 50/50 or like if you if they're playing like the the ice lightning one, um, I have the Ama, right. yeah. Uh, so it makes it a lot easier in that matchup. And um, a lot of people are attacking Sid Randell, and I kind of did some text against that, uh, even though I know it never saw it all day. Uh, <laughs> But it, it paid off, it paid off. Cool, so let's uh, get into the list, man. What do you got? Yeah, yeah, so I got um, the bread and butter, you know. Uh, this deck actually does it, oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so yeah, bread and butter. Uh, you actually don't probably need to run this, but it like, makes it a lot better with LBs to, to have the colors. Okay. Um, uh, I thought about maybe playing two of these and one of the two CP fire one just in case I got in some trouble, but uh, it actually came in, it came in handy a lot actually today. Uh, uh, but the self-explanatory, I guess, you know. Yeah, the engine. Yeah. Uh, we're playing Axstar uh, because it's a seven wall deck. Uh, Ward. Because uh, we're playing Warrior, we're gonna we're gonna be playing Tyvis, uh, and then we're gonna get some weirder cards, I guess. Like uh, I wasn't sure about Gutsko. I know like the other decks that ran this uh, ran three, I think, um, and I wasn't sure about it, uh, but it actually was really really good all day. I maybe could have went to three. Uh, uh, I wasn't convinced it was great, but it was really great. Uh, Cyan, because we really need the board wipe. Uh, I got um, two Alpha Nod. and then um, some of the one-offs. Uh, I got one of this wall, which actually helped a lot. Uh, what really helped to uh, close out games a lot. Uh, this Minwoo, um, I would really like to find the room to make this to two, because uh, it's really, really good against Knights. Uh, and a lot of times, uh, if you get to five backups, it's a very, like, you're playing the value game. Like, you'll, you'll get there by just, like, oh, three, three from breakdown every turn. Like, play your hand out, and then, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, one, my six. Um, this card's good. It, uh, it came up a little bit today. Uh, I lost in top 16 to four color wall. Uh, this was the only card I thought might save me. Uh, it did not. It did not save me. Uh, I played one Yuzuki. Um, a lot of the, the other two lists were rain too. Uh, I wasn't that afraid of, uh, damage that much, I guess, with this deck. But I still wanted the option with, the uh, Tyrus. Uh, one Ferris. Uh, I tried really hard for two. Uh, I didn't know what to cut. Uh, uh three Tyrus. I'm gonna make the messiest deck for No, you can do you're fine, man. Yeah, I got one Jex. I also wanted to, but it's really hard because it's already like a, approaching like I'm gonna miss with wall right. status, you know? Uh, two uh, Furion uh, for the Titus. Uh, but also, I run a lot of water, uh, like the Yuzuki and the Mog. Sometimes it'll, it's worth it to cast for three. Uh, and then sometimes it's also just really good to cast off of the uh, Mog uh, from Breakstone, or from LB. So like that's it for the four. So just clean this up and put, you know. Yeah. Uh, you just uh, slide it over. Yeah. It's, it's basically yeah. shuffle. Now. <laughs> um. So I have my for title fantasy title enthusiast, you wild and wacky bunch. Last call for anybody who wants to the title event. Last call for anybody playing the title event in just a moment. I'm gonna have you guys come up. I have three meat. That's my one Walter title players. We're gonna uh, be playing kind of. the third uh, table. 
this is I, I run a lot of multi elements. Uh, it kind of gets me there. Um, it's been really good all day. And then the other nice side is if you're understood Rando, uh, you can use this to search um, any card. So I have a couple outs to uh, Sid Randall coming up. Uh, so I'll kind of explain that too. Uh, also, a Sid Randall out is the Red 13. Um, I run one Culinarian. I, this is another card I, I thought could go to two. Um, it, it came in, there's a lot of times of the day where if I'm at four backups and I'm really craving the fifth one to play the Mott, uh, you can like free play this, pitch two from hand with the four and play a Mott and just win the game a lot of times. Uh, and then the other like more basic backups are like um, Samurai at three, of course. That's like maybe the best wire backup you can play in here. Uh, I got um, Lil T. Uh, so this will go into a Wind or an Ice. Uh, it's kind of weird because I sometimes you hope for XR, sometimes you hope for a Wall. Uh, it, it hit every time uh, the one I wanted. So I'm kind of lucky. <laughs> uh, so I have two Geomancer. Uh, this should be three. A hundred percent should be three. Uh, I could not find it. I asked maybe 20 people and everyone was like, why would you ask for a card from Opus 10? Uh, <laughs> I have two Moody. Uh, this was bad. Uh, I don't like being name locked on this. Uh, the other two decks ran one. I 100% agree, but I didn't have the Geomancer, so it was a Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one Cloud. Uh, same thing, uh, you, like Moody, you don't want to run two. Um, I think I used every effect on here except for the Return of Seven, uh, which I don't have any Sevens. Uh, but I killed a Forum with a, uh, the 5k. I, uh, and then of course the Wall. Like, yeah, wall back, wall. I got a yeah. Wall um, I got, uh, so for the Meath and the, and even the Moody, I wanted a way to get, uh, a way to out Sid Randall, so I played Bahamut at, at one, uh, and this game, this card came out of a lot today, uh, I think it's a little undervalued, but not super much, like it, it, come a lot, it came up a lot in this deck where I could Ferris and then kill maybe two, three things with, uh, Bahamut, uh, which was kind of nice. Uh, I have one Crimson Hound, which um, feels a lot worse when I didn't see a Sid Randall all day. Uh, but that was like my main one. And then I have uh, uh, the three Amas. Um, and I got one time I Ryan Shin because I played him in round seven. Uh, nicest guy I've ever seen in my life. We love Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so um, you mentioned there was, uh, you made some changes, right? Uh, were the, was the Hound and the Bahamut in the original lists? From uh, the no, no, yeah, yeah. Those were the changes you added? The changes were the Bahamut and the Crimson Hounds. Uh, just because in a lot of my playtesting, a lot of my other friends were on Sid Randall. And it became a problem because without those... You're you're not really getting there over the Sid Randall, like at all, pretty much. Um, I think there's one way to do it. I forget which what the way is, but um, yeah, uh, I I was really scared of Sid Randall. Uh, that was like the number one thing. Okay. And uh, any changes you would make like after this weekend? What do you what are you looking to improve? Um, I have a lot of ideas for the deck. Uh, you can do it a lot of different ways because really the only rule is you have to have all fire backups. Uh, I was thinking about. Um, I was really thinking hard on Fire, Lightning, Yishtola, and playing maybe some Lightning cards instead of the Water side. Uh, but it's a little complicated, and uh, I've only had a couple days to test this deck. Um, I don't know which way I'm going yet, but I, I really like it, and uh, it's been working out so far. Cool. Uh, also, I forgot. Oh, yeah. I'll be that yeah. pretty straightforward, I'm sure, but yeah. Yeah, uh, the main ones, the two mods. Yeah. Uh, I actually missed one card in here I should have put in. Uh, I have two Zacks, two Leos because of the water in here, All right. oh, and uh, Surge, and I have one little Leela. Uh, I pretty much only went into these three. I know a lot of people don't like Little Lila. No, I love Little Lila. Uh, I did go into Zach one time. So maybe like these four. Okay. Um, I, and the deck has options. Yeah, the deck has a lot of options. Um, I really wanted Victoria at some point in the day. Uh, I would maybe cut the Leo for a Victoria uh, because it was really important to Axar and to uh, Victoria at some point. Uh, I think I still won the game, but. Uh, I was like, it would make it a lot cleaner if I had the Victoria in there. Right. Yeah. But um. But yeah, that's it. Uh, it really it performed really well. Uh, the four color wall deck um is a really hard matchup, and I'm really glad I didn't go into it very much, which is crazy because I know it's all over the place right now. Uh, but I did see it in top 16, and it knocked me out. So it, it, it came up when it counted, I guess, right? Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's the only matchup I'm afraid of, uh, honestly. The four color wall. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, anybody want to give a shout out to for the weekend? Uh, everyone at Gamers Command. Uh, uh, my friend Armand, particularly. Armand. Uh, Blinky. 
Uh, I uh, two people specifically. Uh, Blinky two days ago uh, at clear, in the Clearwater the Phoenix Games uh, kicked my ass 15 times. Uh, and it made me learn the deck really fast. Got you into shape. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, and then the night before last, I played at a guy on my team, Anthony. Uh, he kicked my ass uh, another like 25 times. Um, and so I was in distraught and I was like, I guess I'll just play this, I guess. Uh, and it turned out uh, it worked out great because I didn't I didn't have to play him in the matchups. Uh, so I got there. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, if you guys want to support Gamers Command, check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. You guys can visit the store. They're uh, close by here in Tampa, Florida. So if you're ever in town, make sure to stop by so you can try to beat Abe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Abe. Well, thank you so much, bro. Oh, yeah. Thank you Catch so you much. Around, man. Oh, yeah.